Our topic is about describing the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts. Before we proceed to the discussion, here are some fun facts. Have you ever wondered why there are many mountains and volcanoes in the Philippines? Or why there is no volcano in Australia? Or why Indonesia has the most earthquakes? The distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts plays a vital role in geological activity of each country. Let us discuss first the distribution of active volcanoes. Look at the map of global distribution of volcanoes. Volcanoes occur in long narrow bands. As of today, there are more than 1500 active volcanoes on Earth, 80 of them are under the oceans. They occur in belts in some areas, and are absent from others. Volcanoes can be found both on the land, and in the sea. There is a line of volcanoes running down the middle of Atlantic Ocean. As we can see, most of the volcanoes are located around the Pacific Ocean. This location is called Pacific Ring of Fire. The Philippines, Indonesia, the islands of Japan, the Alaskan and Cascade Range volcanoes are all part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. There are also volcanoes in Southern Europe and down the east coast of Africa. There is also a chain of volcanoes in the islands of Hawaii which is located in the middle of Pacific Ocean. Now, let's proceed to the distribution of earthquake epicenters. Like the distribution of volcanoes, earthquake epicenters also occur in long narrow bands and linear clusters. Earthquakes occur on the land and in the sea. As we can observe on the map, Heavy concentration of earthquakes runs around the edge of the Pacific Ocean, and Australia is unlikely to experience earthquake. There is also earthquake epicenters belt running down the center of the Atlantic Ocean. There is also a quite heavy distribution along the Caribbean archipelago on the southern part of Europe and on the eastern part of Africa. A lot of earthquake epicenters are found on the Philippine island and Indonesian archipelagos. Now, here's the global distribution of major mountain belts. They also occur in narrow bands, and mostly are located near the area where volcanoes and earthquake epicenters are. The location of the distribution of major mountain belts coincides with the location of the distribution of active volcanoes and major earthquake epicenters. Why do you think this happens? The distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts mark the boundaries of each lithospheric plate. These plates are slowly moving relative to each other which cause the geologic events to happen along their boundaries, hence, the explanation of the distribution. Here's the summary of the global distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you.